Hi, I'm Filippo Guerrieri, and this is my studio or museum full of keyboard. And today we focused on uh, the typical sound of 80s, and in particular, one song called Chewing You Back from uh, John Sisters. <laughs> Okay, so here we have some uh, great drum machine from 80s, drum tracks, Lean Drum, Lean uh, Novemila. And uh, let's use the Lean Drum because the song is from 83 and this instrument is uh, came out in 82. So surely they use this instrument. So let's record the pattern. So this is uh, quite the same, the original one. And uh, for record it, we use all the separate outputs. So we can equalize and compress every sound in different way. So for the bass line, we use uh, the classic one, the original Minimoog Model D. And we use uh, two oscillators with a square wave and the third oscillator is used for control, so a vibrato. And at first, let's tune it. Okay, so, bass line of the song. Another sound uh, which is uh, inside the original one is a kind of splash and it's a noise. So we can do the same noise with the Minimoog again. So turn off the oscillators and turn on the noise. Something like that. So. So now for the polyphonic part, we use the extra classic polyphonic of the era. So the Prophet 5, original Prophet 5. And uh, we start with the sound with a lot of attack. So. Okay, something like that. The path of the sound it's gone through the this super chorus, which is affecting a lot the sound. It's very wide now. So uh, the classic boss C he 300. 
Boss di Hi 200, 2000. For the a little bit of delay. So let's listen inside the mix. And now we record the, the, so, the sound, which is a, a kind of reverse synth. So let's work with the envelope of the Prophet 5. Okay, let's try. Great. Now we, we miss uh, only one sound with the uh, Prophet. It's a very classic sound of uh, electrofan, electro boogie, and uh, soul of early 80s. So the pow, this sound. So. Let's work again a little with the envelopes and the filter. It's that. So. Okay, we have it. So finally, there are two guitars lying. And uh, it's not my job, I'm not a guitar player, but it's very simple because uh, the first line double the bass line. So something like that. something like that. And another one with uh, a lot of uh, delay is gone something like this. So, pew, 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 pew. So, let's listen inside the mix. Let's talk a little about the mix of the song. So for uh, wet the song, I use the classic lexicon of the 80s. So lexicon model 200. And a uh, little bit of uh, preamps, so Telefunken, EQ, Studer, and uh, just a little bit of uh, compress from uh, TL Audio. And, uh, but just listen to the lexicon because this is very important for the typical sound of 80s. So how does it sound in the drums? Let's listen. Now we are at the end, so after a little work uh, of mixing, we can compare the original and uh, what we have done. So let's listen to the original at first. Okay, 
Now let's listen from our emulation. Very, very close. So we have done a good job. And for being sure of that, uh, I cut the intro of the song and there is a little bit of uh, vocals. So if the vocals is okay with our mix, so we have done a good job. Let's listen. This is the a cappella. Okay, let's listen inside our song. Sounds very good.